chassis design, car number 86, followed through by John Walsh, making a return to BCL after three years. Next to hand is Colin Farr in number nine, a spin. Oh, Bank straight away, just a minute. End for end, the officials run for cover, and he's landed between the inside safety barrier and the, uh, the official raceway stop-stop area. Justin Maneef, car just being lifted so he can be freed. In fact, they're just pushing it back over the safety fence. Uh, keep in mind, these drivers wear six-point harnesses. They are so rigidly stuck inside the car. They wear neck braces. They wear arm restraints to the steering wheel. Every possible safety device. They've got uh, uh, the three-ply driving suit and the helmet and uh, the uh, fireproof Nomax cover as well. So. They're, they're very well protected, but of course, every accident is different, and Justin has just taken his first big dump, Mike. Yes, and uh, got upside down, uh, and I dare say has probably uh, knocked him out as well on the, uh, the way over the, uh, the wall, but uh, the car landed just on top of the wall. There was nothing uh, uh, untoward about uh, the, the fact of where the car landed, but um, our uh, track accident crew were on the scene immediately, as you could see. Ambulance on the scene immediately just to make sure the uh, youngster is okay. And the wings on these cars are designed, you can almost take them straight off or rip them off. And that's exactly what they're doing now to make sure that uh, young Justin is, uh, is okay. He's uh, a bespeckled driver and uh, he's patient, but also to show how happy you are, he's okay. Justin and he is all right. We might get Stuart Telfer to uh, have a, a talk with Justin as uh, soon as he... Uh, um, is available to have a chat with there. He's out of the car, so that's very good news. As I said, uh, or Steve mentioned, 18 years of age, just finished his HSC. There he is walking to the back of the ambulance. Hey, Justin, if you could hear us, give the crowd a, a wave. They were very, very concerned that, uh, uh, that you may have been hurt, but he hasn't been. Uh, and it's good to see him just walk around back to the ambulance and he'll be given some attention there. Well, he was second in the feature race last weekend, was knocking at the door, and that's why we thought with youth and uh, the determination, he was worthy to carry the Australian flag this evening. So he started the night on a high note and uh, finished it uh, literally on a high one. Well, I tell you what, the next one who suggests to him, would you like to carry the Australian flag at the start of a meeting? You know what Justin's going to tell him to put it. Australian riders of the 90s, and uh, all will be given a practice day at the showground, seeing uh, the new Turks of Speedway to test the showground during the week. So all will be out and ready to run, representing their country at their very best on Saturday night. The Australian team to be led into action by Lee Adams, the uh, 1992 World Under-21 Speedway Champion. Anyway, we're trying to come through and another car got sideways and I just got into that car. That's racing. We'll try and fix it up and be back next week. Go on, you must be really enjoying your season this year. You've had some good results. Yeah, I was enjoying it up till then. <laughs> you know, we've had a couple of second places and been trying hard for a win, we've been close, but hopefully we'll get there soon. All right, finished all the exams and on holidays? I wouldn't call it holidays, but uh, yeah, I finished all my exams and went for my school results, so hopefully they'll be okay. Okay, have you had a chance to look at the car? Is it racing the car or back to the skateboard tonight? <laughs> I don't think we'll be racing that car tonight, but we'll fix it up and hopefully we'll be back next week. Justin Maneef, everyone, he's 18 years of age and a great young guy. Great ambassador for our sport, Michael. Yep, indeed he is. Thank you very much, Stuart Telford.